Um, there is a wasp issue in oh, my garden. Oh, 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 dear God. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, I think it's gone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to make this really quick video today um, to share with you guys what has been going on in the garden. Um, we have wasps. So it was about, let's say, whoop, there goes one now. Um, it was maybe like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, um, I started noticing that we had some like flying insects going around. Now we've had a lot of pests this time in the garden this season. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the construction that's going on. Um, so if you can see actually over on the other side of, there's a, a lake back there. I don't think it's focusing, but there's a lake back there. Um, and those houses right across the lake are all under construction. So in that construction process they've been ripping up everything and I think a lot of those pests and just flying insects have like made their way over to the side of the garden and after I don't know realizing that there's a lot of pests there was I don't know like five or six wasps one day in the garden so then of course when you have all of these um, different pests and flying things and you know things setting up shop in the garden you're gonna have predatorial insects that come and wanting to eat those things now i am really allergic to um a bunch of creepy crawly things one of which is wasps and bees and ants and stuff like that so i'm really allergic to them um but i'm going to leave them in the garden and here's why um they are really beneficial for eating um pests and aphids and just things that you know you don't want in your garden and this season the pest problem in the garden has just been off the charts. I have lost my entire crop of tomatoes basically. Um, I, I no longer have kale um, because all the kale looked like just lace, right? Um, the Swiss chard is completely gone. So I figured if there's anything that I can do as a natural pest control remedy, I'm just gonna leave it in place. Now that's not always the best option because of course you want to be able to walk in your garden without getting stung. Um, you want to have you know, your kids in the garden, you want to have your dogs and your animals and whatever around in your garden. Um, and you don't want to have to worry about um, getting stung <laughs> essentially and the pain and all the other stuff that comes with it. So if it wasn't for the fact that they are such great pest control, then I would definitely be getting rid of them. But for this season in the garden where I can use all of the pest control that I can get my hands on, this is a great natural solution. I have seen some ladybugs um, every once in a while, not nearly as many. I think there were maybe like two or three a couple weeks back, but I have not seen them since. Since the wasps made their home, um, they we have like a lot of green foliage and stuff climbing here. Since I've seen the wasps around, I have not seen nearly as many army worms and cutworms. Don't get me wrong, we still have tons of them, um, unfortunately. But the wasps do seem to be doing a pretty good job um, at cleaning up the garden pests for the most part. Now, unfortunately, they did get here a little bit late because since um, the beginning of the season, the garden has been completely overrun with army worms, cutworms, aphids, all of that stuff. Um, but that's probably what attracted the wasps to begin with. So at least they're here now and I am not going to try to remove them. Now, what I am gonna do and what I have been doing is just to basically leave them alone. Um, of course, you don't wanna get stung. You don't want to, um, to have to deal with that. And there's one like right in front of me. <laughs> Um, but you know you want to just kind of leave them alone as much as possible they're not going to be super aggressive for the most part if they're not being disturbed um, so when I'm walking through my garden I'm just kind of you know noticing um, if they're if they're coming in front of me or if they're kind of like going towards an area that I want to harvest from I'll just kind of walk around um, and then they pretty much stay a couple seconds and then they leave so it's not like too much of an issue now I will say that if the kids were here full-time um, if they you know if they were in the garden full-time they, they live with us part-time so if they were here full-time and in the garden a bunch then I would probably be trying to get rid of the wasps a little bit more than I am um, for right now I'm just gonna leave them as is um, the worst thing I've heard and, and granted I've never been stung by a wasp thank goodness but um, the worst thing you can do is kind of like swat at them you know or try to run from them 
I read this thing online and I'm not sure how true it is. Um, Alan kind of like laughed at me when I told him um, not to do this, but I did read online somewhere that if you like swat at them or you're trying to attack them, um, they send out like a signal to the other wasp and then you get like a whole swarm of wasps. Now, I do not know how true that is. That's just maybe somebody online talking, um, but I have no plans of swatting at it or trying to, you know, disturb it in any way, shape or form. Now, if you did want to get rid of the wasp, right? If you don't like them in your garden, you're not willing to share your space with them, then your best bet is to probably um, get rid of the nest. And you can get rid of the nest either by hiring a company to come kind of like extract it and get it out of there, um, or there's like sprays that you can buy and wait until like the entire thing shows no more activity. Um, once you've sprayed it down, once you are seeing that there's no more wasp in the area, then go and get rid of it um, and just get it out of the garden. Um, I know that some wasps make nests kind of like in the ground also depending on the kind of wasp so that's another thing to consider i have yet to see the nest here um, i'm sure there is one because we have a ton of wasps so i'm sure it's somewhere around here i'm i'm for right now happy not knowing where it is um, i'm not gonna just you know stick my hand in any um deep deep foliage or anything like that um, but for the most part if you wanted to get rid of them your best bet is to get the nest out of here you could also set traps if you wanted to get rid of them they have wasp traps and you just kind of like gather them up and then get rid of that but your best bet is to always get rid of the nest so basically I've just been kind of walking through the garden like this you know going a little slowly making sure there's nothing like flying around me and for right now I don't see anything um, I do I was doing some garden cleanup earlier but I started seeing a whole bunch of them so I kind of like left it there um, and I will get the rest of it later but just kind of making sure going through calmly and not you know disturbing anything I'm assuming that once they get their meals in you know they'll be happy and they'll just be content to leave everything else alone namely me for instance all right so I just spotted one right behind me. Um, I tried to get it on camera, but I'm definitely not gonna get that close to it. It's like this um, this really big black looking wasp. I think it's not like blackish. It's like, like a brown kind of color, although I didn't really get too close. So yeah, I mean, for right now, I'm just gonna be living with it, um, letting them do their thing trying to employ another permaculture technique in the garden, um, which is to allow all of the good beneficial insects make their way because if you get rid of them, then there's gonna be a whole bunch of other pests that come through. So just pretty much let nature take its course and we'll go from there. So I just wanted to share that that's what's been going on in the garden lately. Now, um, I have yet to be stung and I'm trying to just let it play out as much as possible. Um, if you do wanna get rid of them, then those are the things that you can do. Um, but just be aware that once you get rid of the thing that's eating all of the pests, a lot more pests are gonna come through. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.